Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today let us discuss about LM386 audio amplifier module or LM386 the mini amplifier module which is mostly used for self making projects and do it yourself projects. So what are the main features of this LM386 module is, is it has an LM386 on chip it has it is an operational amplifier which has let us let us discuss about it it features in the next slide so it has a wide operating voltage from 4 to 12 volts this is a very good feature it means it can use it can be used with 5 volts power supply or it can be used with the 12 volts power supply a good option when it is used with the 12 volts power supply it has a greater option as a greater gain and it has low quotient current drain current it is just nearly about 4 milliamperes that is very fine with it because what does it mean when there is no signal input it consumes only 4 milliamperes of power 4 milliamperes of current so it is best suited when this module is being used for the with battery application okay now it has a multiplier it has a gain of about 200 x times mean whatever the signal is inputted it can be amplified 200 times so that is a very good amplification factor here the capacitors present these are meant for the amplification gain so these are used for the amplification gain now it can, it has a two pin tbc terminal block connector where you can connect the output or you can connect the speakers whenever which are necessary so and it has a onboard 10k variable resistor this is the variable resistor so this can be used for uh, increasing the gain or decreasing the gain according to our wish so it has an onboard power indicator so this is the LED which uh, lights up when the power is connected so these are the main basic features of this module and where, where it can be used it can be used in AM FM radio amplifiers means soon as soon as the FM signal or the or the amplitude modulation is demodulated or FM modulation is demodulated you get the Y signal so in that time for a pre-amplification purpose you can use this uh, module right at after the demodulation of the amp, AM or FM signal it can be used in portable tape players in portable tape players as soon as it is directed from the head uh, you can just pre-amplify it and you can use this one so it is used in intercoms where you need a very small signal to be amplified and small power applications so it is used in TV sound system it is used in line drivers what is this line is nothing but it is a transmission line whenever you wanted to transmit a signal from one place to another place there may be some attenuation occurring so if you use this in between uh, the transmission lines of a, of a certain frequencies you can uh, gain you can put some gain for the attenuation that was caused in the transmission line and it is used in ultrasonic drivers so ultrasonic means some some sensors need the converts the input signal to the ultrasonic sound means the ultrasonic sound is delivered so if the signal is very low you can amplify the signal with this module and can input to a ultrasonic sound transmitter so that you can transmit the ultrasonic sound for a longer distance so this is one of the application and it is used in small servo drivers so basically this module cannot be used by because uh, what is this servo drivers you have a PWM signal of ranging from 2 volts but this 2 volts PWM signal cannot drive uh, the needed servo so you can uh, amplify this 2 volts PWM signal to a larger extent up to 10 volt signal 10 volt signal when the input signal is connected when the input 
voltage is connected at 12 volts. So you can have you can amplitude a 2 volts PWM signal to a 10 volt PWM signal and you can drive up the your small servo motor. So this is what this is called as the it is small servo driving capability. It has small servo driving capability where the PWM signal is amplified to up to 10 volts and it is used as power converter. So since it, it has a 200x amplification capability, it can be used uh, in small conversions of the power. Now connecting with the condenser mic. So this is the condenser mic uh, where the input changes are reflected here as the change in the capacitance of the module. So when uh, this this can be connected to your required voltage 5 volts or 12 volts the same pin can be connected here. So now this is the uh, voice output in the form of electrical signal this can be connected here and the two ground pins are interconnected inside so they are directly connected and you can connect this and you can connect this two and you can connect directly here and this comes to be seems to be the ground and here directly you can connect you your 5 volts or your VCC 5 or 12 5 or 12 so you can connect it uh, so here you can connect it to the input signal so whenever this voice is given over here it converts to electrical a very low voltage signal and then it is amplified in this module and here you can connect the speaker this is shown the next video so these are the small applications this module was connected to the condenser mic the circuit is shown before so this is the capacitor this is the resistor so now the 5 volts is supplied to these two wires this is the speaker and you can see the sound the ticking sound in the microphone in the speaker so generally this acts as a pre amplifier uh, the very low because pre amplifiers have more gain this has 200x gain whereas power amplifiers have less gain but high power so after this you can connect uh, this to the power amplifier module so this is the power amplifier module so you can connect it if, you, if it is required you can connect it so you can see the feedback noise so it is this gain is better well in the preamplifier section so this is working fine in this how in this way you can connect the input low level signals to amplify it into further high amplitude signals thank you thank you for watching this video